The Guardian reported that plastic producers have been lying to you forever. Remember this whole idea that we're going to recycle the plastic and we're going to be able to use it and it's going to be a benefit for us? Well, plastic producers have known since the 60s that this is not true. That so much of those plastics are not going to be recycled, are not going to be used. And according to The Guardian, they sold us on the use of single-use plastic. Now, granted, there, there's a lot of lawsuits on this and other items. The, the point I'm trying to make on this, I'm not sure who's going to come out and who's really truthful. Each side's got its points. The point is, easy convenience isn't that. Now, the easy convenience of single-use plastic, it's going to be fine for the environment, we're going to use it. Well, no, actually, we're dumping it all in India, right? There, there is something about the allure of this world the simple comforts of this world that seem so nice. And well, the, the government or the producers say so we can do it. Doesn't provide what we want. So often we are sold something by people that don't have our best interests at heart, whether it's plastics or this or that. And you want to buy it because you want to believe them. But the reason they're selling it is because they want to monetize you. Psalm 28. To you I call, O Lord, my rock. Do not turn a deaf ear to me. Often in the Psalms, we do that mention of the ear and how much God is listening and hearing us. Think about society. Think about plastic producers. Think about governments. They're not listening. They're way too busy. You're there to just fall in line, right? But God is my rock, my refuge. He wants to hear me. He wants to help me. Whatever difficulties or struggles you're going through right now, there, there is something to know that I can pray to God about it and he helps. There's something that I can come to church and hear God's comforting message this Sunday at 1030 and actually know that there is grace and forgiveness for me. In a world that just wants to produce and then dump out of sight, here is someone who sees me made in his image, made lovingly this way, and gives me something more, grace and forgiveness and I'm not dumped anywhere else.